National Early Warning Score, News Chart, the physiological observation that you take with the patient, you will document in the news chart. Once you document, you need to add the score, you have to give a monitoring frequency, and you need to decide whether you need to escalate the care to the clinical team. Now, before going into documentation, let's understand what is the news chart? Why is it called news? Where does it come from? Why is it called early warning score chart? Each year in the NHS and the care home, thousands of patients die with the sepsis and the cardiac arrest. The whole aim of early warning score was created to prevent the deterioration of patient and the death. Patients coming to the hospital with severe sepsis or showing the signs of deterioration with the critical illness. That might be a chest infection. How do you prevent patient going into deterioration? One of the research has identified that doing the observations correctly, vital signs, documenting in the news chart and then escalating the care to the appropriate clinician that can prevent patient going into detu further deterioration and death. If you see the news chart, it is color coded. They follow the traffic light system. The red, white and amber or yellow color you can call it as. And it starts with A to E assessment on the side, A, B, C, D, E. That goes with airway, breathing, circulation, disability, exposure. And then you add the score and write the total new score here. And then give a monitoring frequency and escalation plan. And how do you escalate? The back of the chart, usually the given, the clinical response based on the score. If the score is zero, you have to do minimum 12 hourly observation and then usually you continue routine news observation or monitoring. You do not require to escalate unless patient has added symptoms. Let's say, say example, chest pain. Other scores, accordingly, you do a clinical response which is escalating the care. Now, main importance, you have to pay attention here. If you look at the parameters are given in the news chart, they are adapted to identify the critical illness. Now, if you look at systolic blood pressure up to 210, you don't get any score. Usually dropping blood pressure can be an indication patient is going to deteriorate and the patient can go into cardiac arrest. So that might be patients having a bleeding or there is internal bleeding or external bleeding patient might be having or there are other causes you might need to identify. If you look at here, anything comes in the red color, you have to pay a careful attention. Now, early warning score, as I said before, it's the early detection of a deteriorating patient to prevent patient going into cardiac arrest or death. So, whole idea, aim of this news chart is to identify the parameters, whether they're significantly high or low which can give you a score when you add up this score any score above four or single parameter gives you three so you have to escalate the care immediately if the score comes between one to four you need to carefully monitor the patient but if single parameter maybe the respiration is in red color and rest of the score is zero. One of the traffic light systems where it gives you the indication that is in red. So you have to escalate the care. So let's go into documenting the news chart. So and then I can show you how to exactly document how to escalate it. So let's start documenting. So you have done the observation. You have followed A to E steps of assessment. Once you've done that. So you're going to document the news chart, okay? So first one, you're going to write the name. Once you documented the name, then you're going to write the date of birth. 
so date of admission whatever date you have for the exam so here is critical attention you got to pay so you are going to use the first column for all the observations there are several columns this chart might be used one week or two weeks or one month but the first observation that you're using you use the first column let's say today's date is 13 9 and your time is let's say 1600 so you write the date and month and the time in the one column then I usually advise people to put the initial at the bottom straight away so you don't forget start recording the respiration let's say you got a respiration of 28 you put a dot right in the middle Saturation, you got scale 1 and scale 2. If you read this section, I'm going to circle. You don't normally circle in documenta. I'm circling for your understanding. If you look at these two sections of scale 2, you only use scale 2 if target range is required 88 to 92%. Usually COPD patients come into this category. So only use scale to under the direction of clinician. So that needs to be advised by the doctor or advanced practitioner. So scale to only required to be used with a COPD patient. 99% you might be using scale one. Scale one starts from here till here. This is for saturation. This is not for oxygen. Oxygen section comes here. Every one of us got saturation, but whether we got COPD or not. So we're going to use scale one. Patient has not got COPD. Let's say saturation is 97%. If patient is on room air, here this is air or oxygen section. Air, O2 liter per minute device. If patient is on oxygen, you write the oxygen and device. Let's say patient is not on oxygen. I need to put a dot for the air. Next is the blood pressure. Blood pressure, let's say I got the blood pressure of 104 over 63. So I'm going to put an arrow in between 101 to 110 in the middle and 63 between 61 to 70. I'm going to join this line with the dotted line so next one is a pulse let's say i've got 76 and patient is alert and talking to me this part is critical conscious level this need to be acute confusion for example head injury comes under acute confusion if the patient is alert you need to mark alert if it is a confusion it needs to be acute confusion. For example, dementia and Alzheimer's disease, we normally suggest people not to mark the confusion. That's the long-term confusion. If the dementia patient had a fall and a head injury and confused, that might be acute confusion. So alert or a confusion, response to voice, painful stimuli, this is not a pain assessment and unresponsive. So usually you use alert or confusion. So if my patient is alert, you mark alert. Then temperature, let's say my patient has got 37.3. Now I'm going to add the score. If you look at careful attention, respiration is three. Then I go down, blood pressure is one. You only consider systolic blood pressure for scoring. That is critical in critical illness. Diastolic blood pressure, you mark it, but you don't consider for scoring. You only score for systolic blood pressure. Then zero score because white, zero score, zero score. I'll reiterate again. Anything comes on the red, usually score is three. If it comes on the yellow, it will be two or one. White is zero, so three and score one. Total score is 4. So I'm going to clearly write this score. I'm going to turn the page. So you got a score of 4. 
but however you got three in one parameter so if you look at one is red and next one is amber you got a score of four but pay careful attention minimum four to six hourly or minimum one hourly i have to go for this because i have got three in one parameter which is respiration minimum one hour so i'm going to put one here don't write one h or one o just put one and verbalize one hourly monitoring i'm going to escalate the care why for escalation so why do you escalate read that out who do you escalate for so i'm going to go for another example of observation so let's say after one hour you come back and do the assessment and observation for james taylor so i'm going to put the date again now the time is 1700 so let's say respiration come down to 18 saturation is let's say patient saturation has dropped so i'm going to put 94 percent and patient is now on oxygen which is two liter i'm going to put two l two liter and device is vm vm is venturi mask rm is reservoir mask so you use only abbreviation for device if it is nasal cannula you can put n or nc or np usually n is recommended and if you use face mask fm so venturi mask is vm reservoir mask is rm which is non the mask and nasal cannula is n and face mask is fm blood pressure let's say i'm going to put blood pressure as normal which is 128 over 72 pulse i am going to put pulse is increased pulse which is 102 patient is alert and talking to me and temperature i got 36.8 let's calculate the score again so this is a different example so zero score because white color here is a amber color i get a score of one you can get a one or a two but i've got a score of one for saturation then uh, two liter of oxygen so one so oxygen is score of two is three then I got here a score of one for pulse, four. There's no score for alert. There's no score for temperature. Again, I got a score of four. But if you look at between two examples, I do not have any of the dot in the red color. There is no single parameter in three. It can be respiration it can be you know saturation come can come in red color or it can be blood pressure can come in red color but i don't have any in red color but i still got a score of four but here is the catch your monitoring frequency one to four minimum four to six hours when it says four to six hours i go with one number so i'm going to monitor the patient four hourly escalate yes i'm going to initiate so let's uh, recap things. Now you have seen how to document the news chart appropriately and escalate the care. So I have shown you two different examples and hopefully this has helped you to understand. Main importance of the news chart is identifying the deteriorating patient. The numbers are given here. The physiologically might not be normal, but whole aim is to identify the deteriorating patient and escalate the care immediately to prevent further deterioration and going into cardiac arrest. So please understand, so fill out the chart carefully, do not miss any information and add the score and escalation plan and practice that to 
document appropriately. My name is Gilbert Martis. I am from Health Skills Training. Please do not forget to watch our channel HST Learning. Please subscribe to our channel if you want to see anything else. Please let me know. Hopefully this has helped you to understand better and see you soon in next video.